So we're here in the Solomon Islands, we're driving up the mountain and we just pulled over to pick up a bunch of people who are mining for gold. They're going to find gold as well. These people? Yeah, these people. How do you know? The found there. So. The Solomon Islands is just about as low-key as any country can get, even right here in the capital city of Honiara. For centuries, the traditional Solomon economy has been based on small-scale farming, where most of the 600,000 residents live in dense rainforests and small coastal villages. But in 1997, that all changed when a huge gold mine was discovered up in the mountains, which has 1.4 million ounces of volcanic gold. At the time, the locals had no idea what it was like to mine gold, and now, about 3,000 Solomon Islanders have become expert diggers. The pigs are looking for gold too. <laughs> These people are making a very healthy living that you will not believe. Okay, this village is called Goldridge and it's known for mining gold. And then do they live here in these houses? Yeah, they live in this house. So they literally walk five steps to work every day. In Solomon dollars, it costs $250 for a gram of gold. So My ask him like how many hours a day does he does he dig for gold? In the north, start of six to six and a half. Oh they can work the whole day. It depends on where they dig, they can get around 100 to 200 grams of gold. 101 day? So 100 times 250, that's 25,000. Uh, 25, that's a lot per day? So they can get really rich from gold. They don't go to school, they work here every day. It's sort of like a waste of time going to school because you waste a lot of like a whole day not working for money. The miners have set up camps along central Guadalcanal Island, about 22 kilometers southeast of Honiara. They use very basic methods, digging up the ore with shovels and washing it out in puddles. But let me tell you, it's very hard work. This is not a clean job by anyone's standards as they are covered from head to toe in mud. It's always hot and humid and right now is rainy season. But if there's money to be made, then there's people doing it. But if they make so much money, like why do they, where do they spend it? They just Some keep it? just keep it, buy food, clothes. Car maybe? Because their houses are not, they can make a nice house if they want, with the money. But all of them are relocated already, they have their relocation houses. Oh, okay, okay, that makes sense. You'd never realize that a thriving gold mine exists in the Solomon Islands, but now you know, and if you want to get rich, then you better start digging. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. Let's look at some mind-blowing mix facts. 68 million customers are served daily, or 1% of the world's population. There's 36,000 branches in 118 countries.